Admittedly, we may not be able to change the circumstance itself. What we can change is the way we choose to deal with it. Rex was one of the most fun-loving people I've ever known. He enjoyed life to its fullest, and he enjoyed everything about life. When he discovered running, it was about in 1970, 1971, and that was something he could compete with himself about. And then he learned to compete with others as he got better and better. Established in 1996, the Rexley Run has been about more than just running. This event is about everyone who is affected by cancer. The Rexley Run is a symbol of hope to cancer patients and their loved ones. It brings individuals together for a cause that can impact communities. Rex was diagnosed in 1987, and uh, he was diagnosed with uh, T-cell immunoblastic um, cancer in the fourth stage. Right at first, when it was first diagnosed, it came on very suddenly. He knew that he was experiencing some, experiencing some back pain, probably only for a couple of weeks. But he had the idea that as long as he could run, he was okay, he wasn't very sick. I think the running actually helped his optimism because it gave him the fresh air, it gave him the ability to, the camaraderie of being with other people, it made him feel alive. And so as long as he could, he, he ran. The Rexley Run has approximately 2,000 participants every year. Many runners are participating to honor a family member or a close friend who has battled cancer. Runners give a small donation and in return, receive a certificate bearing the name of the person they are honoring. My sister had cancer uh, a few years ago. She's she's healthy now, but you know, I, I uh, support. It's a great cause, so I'm here to support it. Both my grandparents passed away from lung cancer, and I know my uncle barely survived leukemia as a child, and it's because of research and stuff like that. I'm a big believer in the power of research and statistics to solve problems, and so I don't doubt that when you um, set research up in specific ways that you can make progress. These donations go to the Cancer Research Center at BYU, where the research aims to change the way cancer is treated. In the last 20 years, the center has seen many breakthroughs in cancer research and cancer treatments. The purpose of our center is to provide support uh, and encouragement for faculty and students engaged in any aspect of cancer research. Our Cancer Research Center at BYU is kind of unique in that we're not associated with a medical school. So we're, in general, not doing human studies. We're doing more basic research. Some focus on cancer prevention, some focus on cancer treatment. Some people are studying basic mechanisms of how cancer develops. Others are developing new drugs. Some study cancer genetics to try to figure out why drugs work in some people but not others. It's really important for people to understand how valuable the basic research is. You can never get to the point where you're testing a treatment in humans unless you first tested it on cells in culture. Without uh, the uh, generous contributions of our benefactors and donors, none of that would be, would be possible. Since the year 2000, the Rexley Run has raised over $181,000 to support research conducted at BYU. These donations lead to research fellowships for students working at the Cancer Research Center. Each summer, approximately 15 students are able to focus solely on cancer research. Donations not only benefit the fight against cancer, but also enable students with research experience and marketable skills to forward the cause of finding a cure. Yeah, I'd say a huge thank you. It's definitely changed the path that I'm going down. It's great to be able to put on my resume or my CV that I've had experience. It's actually made me want to go into cancer research. Since 1998, Sponsors' donations to the CRC have provided funding for over 220 summer research fellows. In the past decade, these researchers have been listed as co-authors on over 140 papers published in scientific journals, like Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, Nutrition and Cancer, and Cancer Research. Usually professors have ongoing projects that are very large, and so they'll carve out an, a piece of that for a student to do. So a student in bioinformatics may be doing the computer analysis to determine which gene of all these genes that are up and down regulated might be best targeted with cancer therapeutic agents. Their contributions as fellows are significant to understanding the causes of cancer and developing more effective treatments. These combined research efforts have led to the filing of over 20 patents for anti-cancer agents by CRC faculty. These fellows are empowered to change lives for years to come. So I was diagnosed at the same 
type of cancer is Rex Lee, and uh, he actually passed away because of it. It took his life. And fortunately for me, the technology we have today made my experience a lot easier and a lot quicker than people who I've talked to who've had cancer a few years ago or 10 years ago. It's a very different experience. It's awesome that in six months I could be completely treated without having to do radiation because the chemotherapy worked. I mean, I was treated quickly and efficiently because people have studied the medicine, they studied the disease, and we found different methods. We really want to make people aware of it, and so yeah, we raise money for the research, but we also want people to be more conscious of, oh, I need to maybe contribute or do my part to help this because someone I love might have cancer someday. And so, yeah, we try to reach people's hearts and say, hey, you know, if we can do the research now, we can come up with better methods of treating cancer that aren't as painful and that are quicker and more effective because it's probably gonna affect everyone sometime or other. Thanks to the funds raised by the Rexley Run and other donations so graciously given, the Cancer Research Center at BYU has been able to make real contributions to cancer research and the student experience. Those at the BYU Cancer Research Center look forward to a future of partnering with you to find a cure. To anyone who has a desire to help this cause in any way, I would say it is one way to give service that has outreaching joy to others that you may never know how many lives you might touch. What greater joy in service than that? I can't even imagine how grateful I am that there is a Cancer Research Center at BYU and how grateful I am to have Rex's name attached to that. And I'm sure that he is grateful too.